I'm ready, chef. <laughs> I'm not ready, chef. Oh. Beautiful, I could cry watching you. It feels like advanced AI with the training you're putting me through. You see how his side says minus 13? So you're guaranteed a 13 frame move. So you oh, could- that's what it means? I thought I had a 35 frame punish. Disadvantage. <laughs> No matter how cracked you are as a gamer, the fundamentals never go away. In today's video, we coach Masayoshi, another offline TV member who comes from Valorant and League of Legends. Masayoshi is a super sweaty gamer who takes notes and studies a lot. Last I checked, I believe he finished in Valorant at Ascendant, which is the third highest rank from the top. So pretty good. He has 81 hours in Tekken now, but I believe at the time of our coaching session, he had 60 hours and he was a Shinryu Tenryu Dragunov player. When we fought, I noticed he was paying really close attention to my tendencies and my attack patterns, which was really cool to see from a new Tekken player. However, the more we played, the more I started to see big holes in his play at a fundamental level. In most of the coaching sessions before, I focused on character-specific tips because the player is just learning the game. This is a cool session where we dive into more general fighting game tips and Tekken fundamentals. He came to our session super prepared with specific questions and ideas to improve, which was really, really awesome. And I think this will be really valuable for someone looking to take the jump from the beginner level to the intermediate level. Hope you enjoy the video. Hello, hello. Oh my God. It's an yes. honor. Yes. I loved your uh, questions when you messaged me initially asking for coaching. That was the most detail I got out of anybody looking for hey, coaching. Hell yeah. Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a sweat. What can I say? Yeah, no, that's fire. I figured we could just tackle that right away, I guess, and then talk about whatever comes next naturally, yeah? Yes, sir. I'm down. Number one, transitioning into a fighting game, common procedures you in the fighting community like to use to improve, wrist stretching routine, warm-up routines. Okay, yeah, these are all great. These are all great questions. Let's start with transitioning into a fighting game. Uh, you come, what, what do you come from? Um, I come from League of Legends and Valorant. Okay. So, MOBA and shooter. What did you play in League? Um, mid lane, or I, I played like all roles. Okay, yeah, really. so like mid and top probably have the best carryover, right? Like instead of playing on minions, you're playing around like each other's spacing and like it's a lot of just like the movement back and forth, especially in Tekken. Uh, that's why I like, I think like League and Melee and Tekken is like the movement is so fluid that you get to play a lot of mind games and kind of work with your opponent on that level too. So Tekken is a great transition, I think, from that. Common procedures you in the fighting game community like to use to improve. I mean, it always starts, I think, in seeing what kind of comes naturally by default and then like modifying that. Especially with a game like Tekken, it's so hard to put somebody on an objective program and just be like, yeah, do these things and you'll be great. Because there's so many situations, so many styles, and so many ways to win that there are lots of valid ways to approach the game. That so sense, yeah. I like starting with the base of what are you naturally good at? So what I will probably do is I'll, I'll like uh, play you or watch you and then we can like assess what things you enjoy doing, what things you're like locked into doing, what things you're kind of built well to do, how we can augment that, and then how we can work on the things that you would need to work on in addition to that, right? Oh yeah. Pretty generic statement, but I think that's how I'll go about it. <laughs> you play on Leverless? Uh, yes, I'm on uh, Leverless. Uh, Scara, Scara recommended it. Cool. So Leverless is, is good. I have caveats of how I feel about it in the Tekken scene, and I don't really talk about it very often because everybody loves Leverless. But um, my take on Leverless is that it makes the easy stuff hard and the hard stuff easy. So- Oh, interesting, okay. In, in Tekken, we love our neutral inputs because dashing requires a neutral input. All the movement is like dash based, right? Whether you're forward dashing, back dashing, or side walking. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of repetitive inputs. What you'll notice with a lot of leverless players kind of naturally is they have like bursts of a lot of movement and activity. And then there's a natural like stoppage because it's just so many inputs to do the basic things. So leverless players okay. have an advantage doing certain attacks, certain like execution based things. But I've noticed for just basically moving around in Tekken, it's very easy to get fatigued and kind of blown out Really quickly warm-up routines you like to use before getting into ranked matches so this is great this is a great question i love talking about this and i was honestly pretty clueless about this for a very long time basics i like to cover um is always i'll just start moving around making sure all the movements i want to do are good so korean back dash side step block sidewalk block in both directions and then on both sides the more you play the less you probably have to warm it up especially if it's really fresh but it's nice to have that really locked in so you're not like fucking up and getting hit in the middle of a match, right? No, yeah, that makes sense. Other warm-ups. There are some defensive drills that I can show you. Uh, <gasps> yes. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get excited. As soon as I hit the red rank, my biggest, like, plateau has just been, like, crouch blocking. Yeah. And, like, what to do after the crouch block. I think that is my biggest, like, thing that I'm, like, self-diagnosed, like, getting destroyed on. Uh, so you do... You, are you successfully blocking or not successfully blocking? 
you know, some would say like I'm successfully blocking, some would say I'm um face tanking it, but <laughs> uh I would say it's like a 50-50. Okay. Maybe like a 40-60 on some days. 50-50 on a good day. So I would say there's different kinds of like drills for blocking, right? So like a good example is like um there are some strings that have like highs and some that have lows and you just kind of react to the first few hits. And those mm. are like the freebies, right? It's like your opponent is giving you damage if they choose to do this. And then there are the blocks in neutral, which are like real tech and stuff. It's like, you know, you hit them low if they're standing, you hit them mid if they're ducking, right? The drills for the free damage are nice to get really comfortable at, well, not taking free damage. In terms of blocking lows in neutral, that is kind of a, a learned skill, I think, through experience. Mm, but okay. there are also ways we can play to really like draw out the intuition. So if you were to truly stand there and stand block over and over and over again, you would start to notice that people either start grabbing you or they start spamming lows because that's the only way they can get damage on you. Mm. And different players at different levels start to get predictable the more you do this and the more you pay attention and the more experience you gather. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. My background in fighting games have been like Super Smash Brothers couch gaming level. So like whatever like my friend group is. And I played like Marvel versus Capcom to like a silver level. Okay. Um, Orange rank felt like Marvel versus Capcom to me. It's like, can you read their mid and then combo them to like kind of like cheese the win? Yeah, they like yeah. Ne they never stop my grab. Yeah. How I approached a lot of the early ranks in this game when I was first booting it up was just like playing frames. It's like people would not respect any frame trap. Yeah. And... Oh, Sorry, the llamas on my screen are flying away. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I saw people, that. <laughs> people would not respect my frame traps at all. So yeah. it gave me a really solid way to start building my offense in like a really frame tight way and then seeing how they behave around that, right? So like the more you just play plus frames over and over, you can start to discern like, is this guy a turtley player? Cause like he's never challenging the plus frames or is he kind mm -hmm. of a masher? Cause he's always challenging it, even if he doesn't know. Usually if you're fighting a masher, Maybe they'll be desperate to get their damage back and spam lows. That might, that might be me right now. I'm not <laughs> sure what kind of player I am. Uh, I don't even know what to diagnose myself as. Like, it's just kind of like I went from self-coaching. Mm -hmm. I, I self-coached through your videos and like whatever video I could find on YouTube and then just try to like replicate it, which did me really good or really bad. Like I would watch J, um, JDCR or JCR. Yeah, JDCR. Yeah. I was like, wait, this guy never low blocks. He just low parries. I just need to learn to always low parry. <laughs> and then I was just losing like game after game after game. And then I realized, oh, I need to like do low blocks first to then build up to the low parries. Yeah, kind of, like, yeah. And then learning the matchups. Low parries are the advanced, like their low is so safe that I get more reward for doing the parry than blocking. But the block part is definitely fundamental because the low parry has that timing restriction, whereas the block is fully generous, right? You could just, as long as you block it, right? I sent you my Steam. We can add a session or we can go into the Tekken Fight Lounge and meet up. You got an avatar? Ooh. Oh, I see you. Sweet. Follow me. So if we sit opposite cabinets, it'll match us up. Wait, this is sick. What? Take a seat. Goosh. Yo, wait, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll pick Steve and we'll, uh, we'll just run the games and see what it feels like. All right, so we're just like fighting. Yeah, like, yeah, just, just fight to, me to feel it out. Yep. Damn! 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 Hey! Oh, oh wait! I don't yeah. want. Oh. All right, I'm warm now. <laughs> Perfect. I'm ready, chef. <laughs> I'm not ready, Chef! I'm ready now. Okay. No! <laughs> Ooh, I like that spacing you made. Yeah. All right. Let's run Wait, again. one more, one more. That yeah. was our warm up. No, we keep ready. We keep ready again. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
Hey. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. I could cry watching you. <laughs> Sorry. Is that mechanic it? <laughs> it's so beautiful to punish. Oh. Oh my god. It's just beautiful. You're punishing a jab that's so fast. Oh, I tried low block. All right, I have an idea. I'm going to pick Dragon right. Uh I like what I'm seeing. I like that you play a lot of jabs to kind of assert your control in the neutral. I want to put you on... You already mentioned that blocking low is kind of difficult. Yeah. I want to put you on the pressure that you can be applying as Dragunov going mid and low. And okay. maybe by playing this way, you will also start to recognize how other people are trying to do it to you. Okay. Oh, I actually like that. You wait for me to low block and then you go low. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, we got combos. Ow. <laughs> got him! Why? <laughs> Oh. Okay, two one can be a uh, forward two. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like you that. can whip punish two one. Yeah. Uh, let's run it back. So while we're loading in, yeah, yeah. tell me what you're noticing because because you, you already mentioned like you like to do a lot of self coaching. You're like looking at, and and you're noticing a lot of things that I'm doing, right? You were pointing out that like I did delayed low to wait for you to stand back up. So you're very clearly yeah, yeah. like picking up on the things that are happening. What is what are you seeing so far? Uh, main, mainly like the I'm focusing on the whip punishes you're hitting me with. Yeah. And you're jab at the moment and mm -hmm. your mix-ups okay let's keep running it all right nice oh that was a fast grab. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I moved. NATO, uh, uh. it was. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One brain cell. Oh my god, counter hit. Nice. Oh. Nice block. Ah. Okay. <laughs> It is. It feels like advanced AI with the the training you're putting me through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I feel this. I feel this. Oh. Ew. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm being super impatient on my blocks too now. Yeah. I'm noticing. I think your third hit on the 3-2-1 is like 20 frames. 
but I don't know if it gives plus frames once I block it. Ah, okay. So that was my next question. And I didn't want to sound like patronizing when I asked it, but what do you know about punishment currently? I, I know everything with the plus frames, but I'm like super matchup dependent on it, I've noticed. Okay, so you know so about like, the plus frames? Do you know about the minus frames? Minus frames, no, actually. Oh, okay. How we think about it in Tekken is we look at the, we usually look at the advantage and disadvantage, like discreetly, separately from the startup. So let's do a little, a little breakdown. If I say anything that you already know, then you can stop me. Let me, let me start by like how, how this came to my mind in the first place, right? So what happened yeah, yeah. is you would block this giant ass low. And when you block this low, Dragonov is stuck friends. recovering for so long that the opponent gets a free launch every time oh, you block this. Standing. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So what I wanted to point out with this is, yeah, yeah. did you did you know either that you could get a follow up, or did you just not know the frames? Like, uh, where where was your knowledge sitting at in this situation? Honestly, my my brain is so caught up on your. Um patterns uh -huh. that like I, I like wasn't even thinking about punishments at the moment just like uh, okay okay kind of playing that and then for punishments yeah I didn't, I didn't even know I could while standing to the uh or someone could while standing to my dragon off low block. okay so you were focusing on my timing and my patterns and my decision making and you said you gave kind of like practice mode or like the the punishment stuff a backseat right it should be flipped I think where okay. in order to get to the point where you can start playing like downloads and like mind games and stuff like that, the yeah. both the plus frames and the minus frames are like the fundamental base. Okay. These dictate a lot. <laughs> and the main reason is if you never punish an opponent's punishable move, they become like a single player mode boss character where they get really insane overpowered moves for free. All of Tekken is kind of balanced around the idea that they get a good move, but if you block it, you get to blow them up for it. And this is a perfect example. So what I was like it's broken if you don't block it. Exactly, it's insanely broken. Like it's knocks down on counter hit, it is a uh, it's plus 7 so they get to keep their turn. Like all of these factors make it so that the only way to make the move kind of fair is yeah, I say kind of fair <laughs> is by yeah. making it punishable, right? Yeah. And, and this is a similar case with the down two. It's a more mild low, right? But the yeah. reason this low is so annoying, right? Is because if you try to jab Dragonov, he's just going under. So he has a move that hits you while going under highs yeah. and does damage to you. So yeah. the way it's balanced is that it's minus 13. So you get your punish every time you block one. And why I started paying attention to that is because when we started doing the fun, like, am I going to down two? Am I going to down two? You would block yeah. some but you wouldn't take your damage for it, right? You get guaranteed yeah. damage on me, and because you miss on that opportunity, it kind of warps the entire game. I ha I get to stop thinking about safety, move selection, I get to just freestyle on you. And that's yeah. like the worst position to be in in Tekken is where somebody feels so comfortable, they're just freestyling on you, doing whatever they want, whenever they want, and just getting away with it, right? That was like my next step. Like, yeah. because of, I was struggling so much with low blocks, and like mm -hmm. now I'm like kind of understanding. Now what are the punishers from low? Because I yeah. feel so awkward. Perfect. Like, Okay, sick, I blocked the move. Now I'm gonna the uh, last standing four. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna down one yeah. full crouch. Got like it. And I'm a little stuck there. From standing you it sounds like you did have a general impression of punishment then? Yes, from standing I have a lot I feel more comfortable, cool. I guess I should say. Yeah, a yeah. lot more comfortable punishing while standing. From crouching, I feel super awkward. Okay, perfect. But so we should grind that individually. So go ahead, share your screen with me too. And okay. uh, we'll just start with Dragonov because this is a character you probably are used to seeing the animations for. Go ahead, hit start, and then there's a section called Punishment Training. Okay, so just deselect everything except the uh, Deadly Scorpion. So oh, you can... Oh, I didn't even know you could select these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deselect all? Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deadly Scorpion. Yeah, keep that one and then do um Clipping Sweep. Uh, and then you have to go left and hit normal. You can't exit out normally. Yeah, so hit normal. All right. So now it's going to tell you that you need to duck it, and it's going to tell you the punish. Okay. Yeah. And then, so you're doing a standing two. You have to hit okay. the two a bit sooner while he's transitioning from the crouch to the standing state. Yeah. And your button can come out in the block stun. Oh. That's okay. what makes the punishment a bit easier, is you don't have to wait for it to uh, be actionable. You just kind of mash it as soon as you oh. confirm that you blocked it. Yeah. Something I like that you're doing is you're kind of waiting to block until the last minute. That's kind of like a high level thing. Usually people kind yeah. of just block low as soon as they're ready. But some people go for the animation recognition, like something yeah. happened and I read a low. That's like- I wanna, I wanna see what he does. Yeah, that's high level shit. Great, so this is a great level one of the drill. Let's level it up. Let's add some other moves that require you to do a different punish. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's another low that he has. Oh, Razor, three, yeah, yeah. So number three, and let's turn off the other two for now. And it's going to recommend you the punish. 
Yep, this is his 12 frame while standing punish. Yeah. Um, I think he also has while standing 1-3. One, 1-3, one, one, okay. Yeah. So this is a, like a wall splat option, multiple hit. I'm gonna try to get him to the wall. We'll see. Oh, close. Come on. Yeah, it is. Oh, so that's a bit of a weaker splat. Try the shoulder. Get there. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, so it looks like the wall splat with the shoulder is less reliable, but I imagine yeah. that this move punishes more reliably because of the hitbox. So this is your wall standing punishment. Let's level it up again. So now, okay. go back to the selection. You're going to turn on two options. Just Razor, so number three, and number five. Clipping Sweep. Okay. And when you drill this, your goal is to be... I think you've, if you see my videos, I already say it a lot. But like, be correct and slow rather than going fast and being wrong. Yeah, yeah. All right. So when you see that one, do the 12 frame punish. And when you see the other oh, yeah, one, do the launch punish. And I think you just let it reset over and over and it will go. All right. Let's optimize the practice mode settings a little bit. Now that you know the punishes, uh, mm -hmm. go ahead back out here real quick. Go to display settings. Okay. Yeah, just turn off the player attack info because we don't need to see our combos. And then you can keep opponent frame info, but turn off. Yeah, yeah. this is good. Uh, hit properties on? Yeah, we'll keep that on for now. Yeah. Okay. So basically, I'm just minimizing as much as shit on the screen so that you can kind of really see what you need mm -hmm. to see, right? As many okay. animations as possible. Now go back to the punishment training. And for now, let's try it on hard mode. So you're doing well, rising one, three, and then yes, exactly, exactly. And then you'll just up the complexity more and more uh, with more moves okay. as you get more comfortable. Oh, but I as see. you can see, the challenge initially is picking the correct okay. punish, right? This is what you can start to do for every character slowly. You can start to explore their lows, their mids, and how you can punish them. Uh, their highs too, I guess, in some cases. Yeah, like this already is gonna go crazy. Yeah. Like just ha just having these two. Yeah. Game changer. So let me give you like, the mental kind of cheat sheet because since you're kind of a grinder, I trust you to practice. If you block a low, 99% of the time you can do your fast while standing move, your fast while standing punish. Because in this game, lows are very rarely safe. I think there's like three lows I can think of that are safe. So you okay. should always assume basically that you can punish it. And then if you like, if you see them stagger, like whether when Dragonov does the big sweep or when Kazuya does like a hell sweep and you see their character model, like you block it and they're like, oh God, I got blocked. Then you can usually go for your launch. But yeah. And so, so this is kind of the basis for how you would train punishment. The idea is just that you've seen the punishes and you've done them, but not that you get them perfect. The perfecting yeah. of this skill happens in game and in the downtime. But you do this work initially so that once you see it in game, your brain at least starts to go, oh, I should punish that. Oh, I should punish that. And then you're building the association with your hands to go, oh, I punish that. And then my hands do this. I see the animation. My hands do this. What are your what are your standing punishes? What are you using right now? Uh, standing punishes. Oh, wait, I never like dissected them as like frames. Oh, OK. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So this is a good chance to explore the recording function. So let's go into practice settings. Set up Dragonov to do uh, one, three, two on your block. One, three, two. OK. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just gonna one more take, one more take, one more take. Dude! Perfect, perfect. Okay, yes. You see how his side says minus 13? Yeah. So you're guaranteed a 13 frame move, a 13 frame punish. So you oh, could. That's what it means? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so if you do your down forward oh one. God. If you <laughs> I thought I had a 35 frame punish. No, 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 no. So it's the disadvantage. <laughs> I've been playing the game with one arm. <laughs> I was like, he's not punishing anything. Maybe he just doesn't know. No, he knows. Oh my he just did the God. math wrong. Where does 35 come from? Because I was at, it said 22 and said minus. I was like, oh, oh that's you were doing like math. Another negative. I was oh. like, oh, okay, that's going to be like 35. Now, so the frame advantage just tells you how much he's in recovery. So you immediately get to act, and he's still waiting 13 frames. If you do DF1, down forward one. Down forward one. Yeah. And you can like mash it during the block stun. Well, that's early, but yeah. <laughs> I set you up for failure. Yeah, and you see how the yellow punish text lit up there in the left side? Yeah. Oh. So that's how you know you hit the true punish. He was minus 13, you did a 13. Know about that. <laughs> he was minus that's 13, nice. you did a 13 frame move, and it was guaranteed. All right. But as you already said, you're doing 4 1, and 4 1 is more damage than DF 1, right? So you can just do your 4 1 punish here. This is a whole new world. Oh my god! 
<laughs> I was doing it wrong! <laughs> oh my god. Chat never self-coach. Just never self-coach. Let it let it be a lesson. God, this is such a I have a new lens on. Yeah, and this is how it gets easier to start to discern. You were saying it's hard to find the low blocks in the first place. Well, the reason yeah. it can get hard to find the low blocks is if your opponent recognizes that you're not punishing lows, yeah. they just run lows on you all day at random timings. They no longer have fear. I'm so curious now. Like, I'm going to just be like testing everything. Yes. Like, how they can punish me. Oh my God. Yeah, so so you can you can set the opponent to block yours as a quick test for dragging off stuff. It yeah, is. and then set them to offense. And the trick I like to use is just set the first one to standing. Mm-hmm. And then set the second oh, wait. one. Wait, there's a second one? Yeah, action after hit or block. Ooh, and oh, then we hit. What the hell? And then okay. hit block all. So now you can test a bunch of your moves by doing a jab and then testing the move after. So you can jab and then do your low. Minus 26. Oh. Damn. Yeah. So you can go get lunch and then hit that while standing too, you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> And that's minus 12, right? So like, if you're wrong on this one, you can get punished for that. Oh my. So that okay. can affect your decision making to even throw out the launcher in the first place. Like, what if you're about to wow. die, right? Some people are psychotic and don't care, but most people don't want to eat the free punish damage. So they play really yeah. compact. You see that a lot in Korea. That's punishment and it unlocks the rest of the game because you will start doing things. Like, I think you saw when I was playing Steve, you would just DF2 me and I'd 1-1-2 one, one, you back. You DF2 me, I'd 1-1-2 one, one, you back. And I just got so much HP uh. by just blocking and letting you die, right? So oh my. These I consider two of the core fundamentals is like a uh, punishment lets you take the free damage your opponent gives you and then throw breaking lets you deny your opponent getting free damage on you. Wow. Oh my, dude, this is like, I'm like trying to think of everything that I like to go for now and how people have been punishing me. <laughs> that might be painful, but if, if it helps you develop, yeah. So, so we've talked about the minus frames. Let's make sure we have the plus frames on lock. Okay. So you do, if you do jab and then running two. So this is where the math starts to come into play. So you see how you're plus six? If you were to jab right after you have that plus six, your jab is now six frames faster than your opponent's. To make this easier, you can just set him, let's change his settings okay. real quick. Change the first action to, to standing block and then change his second action to punish. Now go to punishment settings. Wait, what? So you can program what he does in response to being blocked. So yeah, just record that one, the jab, fast high attack. So now- Oh my God! Sorry. So, okay. So do a running two and then hit a down forward two. That is guaranteed. Oh! That's sick. <laughs> and the reason is, again, because the your next move is 15 frames, but it's six frames faster. So now it's a nine frame down forward two and that outspeeds his 10 frame jab. Whoa, okay. Yeah. Another way you can think of it, how I think about it, is I add it to my opponents. I add my advantage and slow down my opponent's move. So you do running two, you're plus six. Their 10 frame jab is now a 16 frame jab. Yeah. Right? Okay. And that makes your 15 frame down forward two faster. Oh my god. Right? So that's how I like to think of it. To me, it's a bit easier. Yeah. But, but basically, no, that, all that means is this sequence becomes guaranteed if they do anything but block. Uh, same thing. Look at down back three plus four. Down back three plus four. Yeah. Plus so seven. Nothing. Plus seven. Yeah, that thing they can't do anything, right? As soon as I got more comfortable, you probably noticed I was like doing this jab. Or yeah. Like so jab, I consider a decent, like it's a decent safe frame trap, but it's so little reward for you just being plus seven, right? Because oh, wait, you're right. Yeah, you can trap with D down forward one even if you want to go for a safe mid poke. Yeah, and that's that's a trap as well, right? Wait, what is this thing? I've never used this. Oh, it's it's so you remember when I remember when I was jabbing you and jab yeah. spamming you and then you would duck and I would jab you in the face and it would hit. <laughs> That's the move I was using. This it's, is it's, my mid? Yeah, your mid poke, DF1. Yeah, oh you have, yeah. my. So you get to pick your mids based on your degree of confidence, right? Say you have like a 50% guess that your opponent's going to duck. Your down forward one's only minus two. So you're still safe. You still get to move. You still get to play the game after. Your DF2 is minus 12. So you're handshaking that you're gonna take damage because you're so confident they're gonna duck, right? Okay. You'll, you'll get a combo if they duck, they get a punish on you if they didn't. Change Dragonov's uh, in the pause menu, change his punishment behavior. Change yeah. that first one to fast mid attack, DF1. Now do your down back three plus four and then hit down two. You outspeed his mid check even. So you have so much control over the game when you hit that move and you're plus wow. seven. Try running two into down two. My math is failing me right now. It might not work. I can't, I'm literally brain dead. Yeah, you wow. still outspeed that. This forms the basis of our attack. Punishment formed the basis of our defense where we want to get free damage. Plus frames give us a way to attack more safely, more consistently. Um, now you have 
extra extra layers you can add, right? So like you would use your jab to keep control, which is really safe and is probably what a lot of high level players would do. But to be honest, if you are getting guaranteed down forward twos every time, you just slaughter people. And then if they're constantly afraid of the down forward two, you can just keep going low on them. These have less to do with player recognition and pattern and are more just kind of like the base rules of the game. The, the rules of the road that everybody has to obey. Yeah, like I, I'm viewing the game totally different now. Yeah. Or like at least practice practice wise or like getting info wise. Yeah. Learning the matchups. So how I think, because we, we, we did a big info dump and you have a big agenda ahead of you. Where I think we could leave you is um, once you understand like what frame traps you want to start using, once you kind of had that sink into your, your mind, mm -hmm. um, kind of run those and just test them and see how often you can really just frame trap people and just kill them. Okay. And when Can I do one match then? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's watch it. Let's watch it. Yeah. This gives you a context for your opponent's behavior. So instead of raw trying to download everything they're doing, you get to download how they're responding to the situations you've imposed on them. So it's no longer, oh, he's doing this after this and this after this and this after this. It's just like, oh, I'm plus six and he's always mashing. So I'll just frame trap him. Oh, I'm plus okay. six and he's always blocking. So I'll just go low again. Wow. Yeah. A whole new game. <laughs> okay. It is a lot. It's like, let's see. Yeah, before, because like my, my my thought process was like, um, I just need to, uh, like, uh, exposure therapy, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's not punishing your down forward too. That already gives you information. Yes, and usually you grab. A grab is a good frame trap. Try hitting running two into DF2 and see if he mashes. He or down forward two, sorry. Oh, you got I've it. been used to talking to people who... So he's blocking after. Oops, I tried to go low. Mm -hmm. He's plus three after that jumping kick, so you usually have to block. Yeah, this uh, is like... Plus three after jumping kick, got it. Yeah, yeah. so he, he creates a situation where you pretty much have to give. Nice. Okay. Down two. Oh, he's dead, he's, he's dead, dead, he's dead, he's dead. So one thing is you hit the hatchet kick, you got plus seven. And yeah. then you did an armor move, but you had advantage. You could have just done regular attacks because you have so much advantage. He's the one that needs to do an armor move. He should be respecting your advantage, right? He's super plus. Nice. That's a good interrupt. Crouch cancel. He watched my video. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yep. You have frame advantage, so you can just do whatever you want. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's just a cheese I like to do, but I need to, oh, I need to stop doing that at higher ranks. Right, because it's punishable, right? So you're giving him free damage. Okay, yep, you frame advantage, you just run up and jab, yep, ooh, okay. His turn, still. His turn, still. Okay. And then you armor to oh. disrespect his turn, right? So, like, that's a, like, he has frame advantage, but you're hoping to armor through it, right? Uh-oh. I know he wants to use it, and it's a low. I keep going low! Nice, good block. No! <laughs> yep. Wait, is he FK? Oh, no, he's just... I, I was just frame trapping him. <laughs> I see. Yep, good block. Yep, running two. BDX combo. <laughs> he's dead. Damn it! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he did as hell. Uh -huh. do, I, do I have to really worry about his lows? No, uh, Lars, Lars is low, so he has to hit a lot of them. As long as you're not yeah, getting counter hit, it's fine. That was a whip punish. Yeah, that low sweep is doing. If you can find the block, you get a launch. Oh, wait, oh, I didn't damn. jump. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah, one, right. two. Okay. So he loves All spamming right. that low. See if you can find a low block into while standing two. You might get launched for trying it, too. but uh, it's worth oh, looking no, for. Oh, no, I'm with it. Yeah. I'm done to, I'm done to lose for it. Perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Fuck. Yeah, and it's all, it's, it's all right, because even I eat a lot of those, but, like, it's one little target we can focus on. Mm -hmm. Damn. <gasps> Dang, oh, oh, this is ugly. Uses it! <laughs> That's another cheese I've been, like, falling into. Um, the Rage Art. People insta rage art in red rank, like as soon as they, they get it. Yeah. He's a he's, he's respecting yours. That's funny. Oh, nice duck on the grab. Wow. Frame trap. Yep. It's too hard for him to press there, so he has to guess 50 50. Round two. Fight. 
Nice. Okay. Aya. Nice block. Oh, block punish. First try. We love that. <laughs> Money. Yeah. Yep. 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 Can't block your legs. God damn it. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> I keep forgetting, they insult you every time. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll stand up. He's smashing me with frames, just do a mix-up. Or throw, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yep, wait, it was still his turn. Yep. Ooh. Oh, oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. Was... <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll go back to playing. I was, I was trying to respect his uh his frame or his low. Yeah, yeah, it was hard because at that HP it only takes one hit, so it's hard to play there. Oh, I tried to duck that again. I tried to duck that again. Yo. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we block. Nice. I... Oh, you can one plus two there. Yeah. All right, I see it now though. But you see the vision, yeah, yeah. That was a good launch yeah, punish yeah. on the first shot too. That was really good. I was so I I get very stubborn on a mechanic that like I'll throw the match just to learn it. That's good. It will probably yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's that's commendable. That's hard to do. I don't care about MMR. I will drop back to silver, but I will be able to block while standing. Punish that. Yes. So let me send you my notes, and I am very curious for how this sinks in after uh, the next time you come back. This will be really, really cool. Dude. No, nah, this is perfect. It, it, it's been an honor. <laughs> nah, I'm excited to link up again next time. Let me know when you're back and uh, let me know when you've gotten to like play with this a bit and experiment. No, yeah, honestly, it makes me excited to like bother you and shit. Oh my yeah. God, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And if you're watching videos, you have any questions like, hey, why did he do this here? Just send it to me and we can chat about it. Ooh, okay. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Alrighty. GG's, thank bro. That was really fun. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Keep being you. Keep doing you. Cheers, man. And I'll, I'll catch you at the flippy flop. Yep. That was really fun. Catch you later. All right. Later.